height range of 2930. It was down maybe four or five inches. I don't know what that is. It looks like kind of like a curtain rod ring. I don't know. I don't know if that's for me and my shovel. Must be because it's uh, not rusted, so I did that to it. Oh well, hope it's not something valuable. Anyway, that's pretty cool. It's lightweight too. All right, moving on. Wait, let's just check the hole real quick as long as I have you on. Whoops, oh, that's gotta be from my digger. Yep. They're gonna be building batting cages right here between this post, that post, this post and that post. A gentleman just came out and he was talking to me and said they were going down a foot to a foot and a half. So uh, he told me I don't have to worry too much about my plugs because they're digging it up tomorrow morning because <laughs> I was getting ready to move out of his way because I unloaded their vehicle. So how's that? You don't even have to worry about your plugs. Okay, the moving area on. here, it's covered with dirt <laughs> and grass piles, but I will do part of that if I can as soon as they're done. So I'm just gonna work a little farther closer to the car here until it's clear to go in that area. Let's ring up, uh, whoops, where'd it go? 10, 11, 12, 13. It was down quite a bit in this dirt where they dug it up. I don't know what it is. Looks like it might have been part of a dog tag. It's definitely got a distinct hole in it that's made for hanging on something. I can see some things on. I'm not sure what I'm looking at, but there was nothing else in the hole. I'm going to check, though, just in case. But that's pretty cool. They've dug this all out. I went around that little mountain thing, and I'm going around the outskirts here because I'm not sure if they're going to be bringing dirt or something or stone. I'm going to ask them if I can get in there and do some of that dirt. All right. Let you know if there's anything else down in here. Oop. Was there? I don't feel anything else. I don't hear anything else. All right, done. This is 11-12. Some type of a clip. So a loop on the top. That's all. Nothing good. Okay, moving on. Well, I did the rest of that area where I wanted to go. I didn't find anything good there, so I moved on. Wasn't anything else left, so I guess somebody did get it. Now I'm back here, closer to the parking lot and the trees. Bring up the 16. Oh, I hope you can see it's just a button. Just a plain old button and it's tiny. I was hoping for something like a trine. No such luck. Okay, moving on. Another type of pin this time, not a Lions Club pin. Just a junky one. It was bent over. I'm not keeping it. It's probably a relic of some type, but it wasn't very deep. Yeah, maybe I'll keep it for a little bit, try to figure out what's on there, but I don't know, junk. I just emptied out my pouch, I have so much garbage in here. Another 1213, another button, some type. Moving on. First piece of jewelry over here by the bleachers. Ramp 16, so it's probably not silver. It's a cool little peace sign anyway. Very nice. And it is jewelry, so that's cool. It's possible it's silver, but I don't know. It doesn't really look silvery to me. I don't see any right. Well, there's kind of, there might be writing there or scratches. I don't know. But either way, I'm happy with it. I like it. All right, it's jewelry. It counts. I'm on the board. It does kind of look like it says something, doesn't it? We'll check it out later at home. Fortunately, it was on the surface, so I didn't have to dig for it once I found it. They shouldn't make anything gold unless it's gold. <laughs> All right. It's got to be fooled for a while. It's a little battery screw-on top. Rang up a 12, but when I first saw it, get the dirt off of it, I saw a little bit of gold. I got all excited for a whole minute. All right, moving on. All right. Found this. I'm guessing it's a washer. It looks like it's got a design on it, unless it just happened to rust that way. So I'm going to try cleaning that up a little bit. It's definitely just plain old metal, you know, like iron or something. And the dime was in the same hole. That's what rang up. Okay. I just got done talking to a gentleman that was here killing some time before he went to work in this area. <clears throat> he was telling me about some swimming holes that aren't too far away from here that I will probably give a try because uh, it sounds like fun. I love swimming holes. I love cool stuff on hot days. Moving on. More of these rocks. This one says Smarty Pants. It's cute. Got this one here. That's adorable. This one says smile. How cute is that? And then there's some up here in the tree. A few in here. This one's got a big flower on it. How beautiful. This one's just blue and white. 
and it says, love is love, love is love. Okay, love is love. And this one says, be a rainbow on someone's cloudy day. How sweet. I love these. I love finding them anymore. So we'll just move them around a little bit. Cool. Awesome. There, spread them out a bit. So no matter where you come from, you see them. A smile. He needs to go up there. Here. This one. There. Now, no matter which way you come, you can see it. Still not having much luck today, but it's a beautiful day. I'm not in the shade right now because it's starting to get hot. My timer went off about 15 minutes ago, so I'm just swinging my way back to the car, hoping for the best. Yes, this is a giant tree. Okay, I moving this on. This was going to be a penny about seven inches deep, but it looks like it might be a lid from a salt and pepper shaker. I checked down to see if there was anything else metal, just in case it was a lid off of a jar with, uh, you know, money in it. That's a pretty cool lid, though. I like it. Definitely copper. I'm assuming it's copper. It's got the right color. All right, moving on. Coins bill. Three dimes. One, two, and three. Whoops, I think number three is a penny. Looks like it, and they're not very old, so I'm not going to worry about that. So I believe that's it. Yep, that's it. I'll just check in here real quick. Well, that was awesome. A little bit extra. I'll take it on the way to the car. I know. I sound like my husband. <laughs> yeah, I'm in, near a baseball field. Decided to give this place a try. Found this down about six inches, seven inches. I don't know if it's old. Definitely been there a while though. It was the steep. All right. Looks good to me, so I will keep that. Let me know if you think it's old. Thanks. Ring up, uh, I almost forgot. Between 28 and 32, back and forth, high squeaky sound. Probably just bling, seven, eight. Had a funny sound, sounded like foil to me. I don't know, maybe it's not. Maybe it's something real. That would be awesome I'm on my way back to the car. Ooh, part of it's missing. I see markings on there, so it could possibly be real. Awesome. I'd actually found something. Score. On my way to the car, too. Yay. Let's see if there's anything else in there. Maybe the rest of it. Maybe. Maybe it's still in there. Carefully get it out. I just figured it was foil because that's what it sounded like. It had that funky sound, you know? Ah, oh, maybe. Maybe it's not there. Oh, here it is. Some more. Hmm. I wonder if there's any more in there. Well, that's pretty cool. I guess I'm going to have to let you hear the sound. Because it did sound weird. It sounded like foil to me. Let me take it out. My best find of the day, even if it is bling. Here, that's not a high pitch, but I think it's silver. I'll take it. Are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> Score. More. I'm still getting that tone. Oh, here's the rest of it. All right. Yeah, it's definitely got markings on it. All right. So it's in three pieces, but that's okay. That's all right. I'm going to say it's silver. That's awesome. Oh, I'm so happy. Yay. Score. For fun, threw them all on the ground again. I you hear it. Get my other bag away from it so you can hear. See, that's not something I would normally dig. I would normally think that's foil. Just because of the sound, but yeah. And it's definitely silver, so I'm very happy with that. 
good good day. First silver chain I found. I mean, a big one, other than, you know, crappy little ones from a pendant. Not that they're crappy, I take everything. All right, moving on. Positions have to go. I'm right here, the end of the fence, about 10 foot in. This is where I found the thing, so I'll stand right here. I'll line up to that tree. All right, gotta come back another day. Okay, well, I didn't get a lot today. Well, it's only out an hour and a half. I had three quarters, four dimes, this buckle that I will take pictures of so we can check it out a little closer. A few pennies, and I don't know what that is. It just looked interesting. And of course, the chain. It is sterling, 925 Italy. You have to look at the still pictures of it. And there are three pieces here, but it looks like I may be able to fix it because it's got both ends, the clasp and three pieces of chain. So I'm gonna give it a shot. We'll see what happens. If I can get it fixed before I publish the video, you'll see it. Well, I ended up with 325 and quarters, another 70 cents in dimes, 15 in nickels, and probably 15 in pennies. Got this, I'm gonna call it some type of a curtain rod ring, maybe, and I forgot about this thing. Little hasp or a clasp. That's it for the day. It was a good day, though.